Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss if Java is passed by value or passed by reference. Let us understand with an example. Let me create a new class. I'll call my class as employee. And I'm going to create an attribute string and generate a constructor here. And also I'm going to generate getters and setters for this attribute name. Right, and let me modify the set name method to modify name. And then I'm going to create a main class, main employee, where I'm going to have a main method here. And then I'm going to create an object for employee class. Employee, new employee of, and I'm going to pass some value here, right? Now, let me create a method here. I'm going to call a method, change reference, and going to create this method. So, what are we doing here is we created an employee object and passing it to the method change reference and observe now so this e is the value of reference to the object right so it is passed to this method so what is this what is copied here is the value of reference to the object e is copied into the object c but not the object e itself and within this method let's create a new object and pass some value to it and now I'm going to pass B to, let's call this as A and you can see it here. We are actually passing B to A, meaning till now A was pointing to the object E was referencing to, but now A will point to the object B is referencing to. So to prove that, let's actually display the attribute value which A is pointing to. And also let's have this statement at the starting of this method. And also we'll have the same method here. We wanted to see if this change is reflected in the calling method. And now we can see the output here clearly. So the first display statement displays the value pointed by A that is Mahesh, right? So when we pass E to it, the value of the reference to the object E is passed to A so a is pointing to the object e is pointing to that's the reason we are getting the attribute value as mahesh here and when we created a new object b and assign it to a we can clearly see that a is pointing to the object b is referencing to and finally we are displaying the value here in the calling method right and if you observe in the calling method the value is not changed e has holds the same value mahesh as e is pointing to the same object. This proves that Java is passed by value and not passed by reference. And remember, A here in no way can change the object E is pointing to. That's the reason we call Java is passed by value and not by passed by reference. Let us take another example where I am going to call a method modify reference and pass the same object e let's create this method now and i'm going to call this argument as c and then modify the attribute value in it as c is the value of reference to the object e so we can access the methods within the object Right, so we can access the methods and changing the value of value C is pointing to. Right, and now let's display the attribute value here as well as here in the calling method, right? And this time we can see when we actually modified the name using the object E, so it got changed that we can see it here. And surprisingly, if you observe, 
the change is also reflected in the calling method as well because c is also pointing to the same object e is referencing to so c was able to modify the attribute value of the object e so this is the place where most of the people get confused and think java is passed by reference when objects are passed as arguments to the methods but no java is strictly passed by value but remember only the value of reference to the object is passed as argument to the method so java is strictly passed by value a picture is worth thousand words let's see this in pictures we we had an object employee right created with the attribute value as mahesh right now then we actually call the change reference method so the value of reference e is copied into a now so we have a referencing to the object e now we created another object b which has the attribute value as suresh and then we copied b to a so a was till now pointing to the object referenced by e but now it has to change it to b as b is copied into the a and again so you can see it here like a can no way change the object e is pointing to modify reference so when we call this method c is uh, the an object which has the value of reference of e right so c has to point to the same object and when we call the modify method using the c object so the value gets changed as c is also pointing to the same object e is pointing to so this proves that java is passed by value and not passed by reference and when we talk about primitive types passed as arguments to the methods so the value the changes made to the value within the method are again like not seen in the calling method and that is also passed by value so in this video we proved that java is strictly passed by value and not passed by reference that's all for this video thanks for watching